guys and welcome back to the master chef challenge this is episode two and we are going to carry on with this challenge follow along from the first episode we are trying to unlock cook and sell every single cooking recipe within two years it is currently the third of spring wednesday it is raining which is pretty awesome we're going to get straight out onto the farm today course we're going to check the weather and we're going to have a look at the fortune as well it's raining all day tomorrow as well and we have got a good fortune which is pretty good okay so we've got some crops in the ground which were placed in there from the first episode we've got some onions we've got parsnips green beans and some cauliflowers i believe and probably some potatoes uh, we've got some mail. Uh, this is the advertisement for Pierre's backpack, I believe. We are going to need that, actually. It's going to come in handy. So what we're going to do in today's episode, guys, the most important thing is talking to the NPCs and trying to get a few hearts with them. Obviously, this is going to be the most important thing because a lot of the NPCs are going to give us cooking recipes. So as you can see, we've introduced ourselves to everyone except Sebastian and the wizard. So um, we can go and talk to Sebastian today. Once we've done the cutscene uh, with the Mayor Lewis for the community centre, we can go and talk to uh, the wizard and to go and meet him as well. But first, before we do that, just whilst it's so early in the morning, we'll find our first geode. I'm going to clear some of the farm, get some resources. I'm going to need some wood today because I want to craft some more chests. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird today. I'm still a bit uh, ill. But I'm still getting this video out for you guys, I've got a lot to do. Okay, so it's 20 past 10, I've been going around getting a lot of stone. I've been clearing some of the rocks today. Uh, we'll do some wood and the fibres, maybe tomorrow, but I just thought I'd get some stone, because I've not really collected any of that just yet. But what I'm going to do now is clear some inventory space up, I'm going to take a trip around town, try and find Sebastian, do a bit of foraging as well. And I'll probably do some gifts to a few people as well, giving some gifts to people and getting some friendship points up. Okay, so Pierre is actually on the Help Wanted list today. He wants a catfish. Uh, it's going to make him happy, which is very important. But also, it's going to give us 600 gold. So I'm going to go and try and catch a catfish. We've got, have we got a time limit on this? We've got two days to try and find a catfish. That's going to be quite important. We've got some good money and also the friendship points. And I've just found Sebastian, which is awesome. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. This place is beautiful. What are you on about, Sebastian? We've just got a Joja Cola. I'm not sure what people, the gifts that people like, which is annoying. I don't, I don't want to give people the wrong stuff, you know? And what I have noticed as well, guys, is... All of the bachelors and bachelorettes, the people you can marry in the game, apart from Emily and Shane, they will not give you recipes through uh, through the mail. So we don't really need to talk to these guys like Sebastian and Haley and Abigail because we're not going to get any recipes from them. So we're not going to concentrate on them in this series. We're just going to be concentrating on the townspeople such as Pam, you know, Caroline, Jody, Demetrius, the, just the normal folk around town. And they're the people who are going to give us the recipes which we want. Which is pretty good because at least we don't have to focus on every single one. Which is going to be awesome. So let's go in people's houses and let's see if we can start giving some gifts. Oh, and of course, Vincent and Jazz, the little kids in the town, they are not going to give us any recipes as well. But we've got Jody here. Did you wipe your boots off before coming in? Sorry, I just cleaned the floor. But you're always welcome here. <laughs> She's so beautiful. I love her. Now, Jodie loves chocolate cake. And she also likes crispy bass, which we've got at home. Uh, she likes a lot of recipes. Pancakes, rhubarb pie, I think. And uh, vegetable medley and stuff like that. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Trying to come up with a new song for my band, but I'm blanking. Hey, what do you think my new song should be about? Farming, mining, and chopping. The city and the sea. Trains, choose anything, it'll still be a horrible song. Um, let's go with City in the Sea. Sounds perfect. Yeah, it actually does, I'm not gonna lie. Now, Jodie actually likes all universal likes apart from garlic. She likes all the fruit, all eggs, all milk. So I'm guessing she'll like things like a dandelion, right? Let's let's test her. Okay. <laughs> She didn't like the dandelion. Oh no. Well, guys, that was a complete fail. She does not like dandelions. She likes neutral stuff like um, just crops, artisan goods and stuff like that, which is annoying. Emily up here. I've just seen Emily. She can actually give us some uh, recipes as well, which is good. But we need to go and do some foraging. I want to try and find some stuff 
like well, which we could use for gifts to be honest we've just met everybody obviously except for the wizard so we've just got 100 gold for that you know what it's raining today so we need to go to the farm and get that catfish right it's raining tomorrow as well actually so let's not worry let's not worry oh there's the lewis hi there game shark taking a break i hope the river doesn't overflow we're not getting that much of a bad flood calm down lewis I'm just doing a quick trip around to see if we can find any forage items. There's no point really talking to people as of yet. We've met everybody, but I've not got no gifts for them, which we need to start doing. So I need to start stocking up on some things. We've got another cheeky dandelion, or is this daffodil? A daffodil, sorry, down there. These daffodils are quite good. I know a few people like those, which is not too bad. Oh, we've got another one over here as well. Nice. I mean, we could sell these, but we don't really get much money. I think uh, gifting people is going to be more important. Well, this day has gone a little bit not very good. We've just spent basically a lot of time foraging. We've introduced ourselves to Sebastian. Let's just end this day, guys, and let's just crack on with the next day and uh, hopefully find some more gifts. I need to find out who actually likes daffodils. That's going to be important. And it's definitely not Jody. <laughs> okay, so day one has ended. We've got level one mining. That's from getting all the stone, which is pretty good. And just selling a few little... Uh, extra stuff and we managed to get 45 gold just what we need can't wait for the crops to finish growing start bringing some income in obviously keep some away as well for some ingredients because we are going to need some crops for ingredients so oh it said it was raining today right so why is it sunny okay we've got some extra luck today as well and we've actually got a living off the land which is going to be the spring onions i'm guessing okay so for some reason oh no the crow just did not do that can we craft a scarecrow that's going to be important not yet damn so we've got some mail today and it's from Robin, obviously talking about building a well, which is going to be quite handy. I mean, 75 stone and 1,000 gold. It's going to come in handy to refill the watering can because I don't know if you guys know, but I've actually got the farm extension on the standard farm where it takes away the two big ponds to give us more room for buildings and crops and it's only gives us a little one behind the house. So wells are going to be very important actually. So what I'm going to do guys is quickly water all these plants and then we'll get cracked on with the day and I'll tell you what we're going to do. Okay, the last plant has been watered. I can't believe a crow has just killed one of our green beans. That is so annoying. We just lost money straight away. We're obviously not going to get the catfish today as well for the request because it's not raining, which is annoying. Uh, cat, you can only catch catfish in the rain, I think. I think that's right. So we're not going to be able to do that, which is uh, it's a shame, but it's okay. So today, this is the 4th, if we go over to the right in a second as we go towards town, I think it's after 9am, we're going to do the cutscene with the Mayor Lewis for the community centre, then we can introduce self to the wizard, which is going to be good. So we're going to finish doing that, and then I'm going to find out who likes daffodils, I'm going to go around town and start gifting a few things to people, do a bit more forage, and I'm going to go to the beach today and see what we can find, obviously try and sell some stuff today i might even get the fishing rod guys and do a little bit of fishing start catching some of the ingredients that we need for the, the meals that uh, need the fish i'd rather store things away now because obviously some fish that we can only catch are going to be in spring i think there's stuff like a rainbow trout that you need for a certain a, a recipe and stuff like that so let's try and trigger this uh cut scene for the community center i think it's today the fourth if i'm right Oh, look at this. We've got two daffodils just chilling out above the bus. That's awesome. So we've got five in total just on us. So if a few NPCs like those, we've got some good gifts right there. Okay, so the cutscene didn't trigger off, which is annoying. So it looks like the wizard's going to have to wait a little longer. Okay, so I did some research, and the people who like daffodils, Sandy loves them. So Sandy up at the desert loves them, so we need to remind uh, remember that. But Caroline, Emily, Evelyn, George, Gus, Haley, Harvey... Kent, Linus, Pam, Pierre and Vincent all like them, so quite a lot of people. So if we go over to George and Evelyn, these actually both like daffodils. Thanks, okay that's gonna help. My favourite program is on. Oh hello dear, I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. That sounded like an old man, I'm sorry Evelyn. I've got a very sore throat today, so... Okay, so Evelyn also likes these. Oh my, it looks wonderful! That's very kind of you, dear. So Evelyn and George like daffodils, so that's going to make them happy. At least I know that. We've got three more left, so let's see who we can bump into. Okay, we don't need Ellie or Sam or Alex or anyone like that, because uh, because they're not important right now. They're not going to send us any gifts or recipes, so uh, let's not focus on them. 
but we can go and see Pierre and obviously Caroline as well. So let's go and talk to these and give these uh, some of these daffodils as well because these are going to give us some good meals in the future. There we go, Caroline. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Enjoy it. And Pierre. Pierre actually quite likes them as well, which is uh, surprising. I'm happy to buy any produce off you. I'll give you a fair price, of course. Okay, well, here are Pierre. Be happy with the daffodil. That's very kind of you. I like this. Good. Good, good, good. So we've got one left, guys. Who shall we give it to? It can either be Gus, or Kent, or Kent's not here yet. Linus. Linus or Pam. Let's go and give it to Linus. Linus is a good lad. And of course, he gives us some nice recipes later on in the future as well. It's going to be slow the first few episodes of this uh, MasterChef challenge because, like I said, it's just going to be talking to the NPCs, trying to get them to like us, to give us uh, them hearts, and of course, trying to find the recipes. So, cooking channel, we need to get all the ingredients ready. Hmm, do you want something from me? I just want to give you a gift. This is a great gift, thank you. You're welcome, mate. It's a bit too uh, hot for that fire, mate. You just uh, turn it off. Save your embers. Save your fuel. Wait till winter to put that on. Oh, we still can't go over here yet. That's just, that's surprising. I'm guessing that's because we did the community center first. I thought it was the fourth of spring where we triggered that event. But guys, look at this. We've got some wriggly worms. Let's see what we can find from here. Prehistoric tool. Fair enough. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing in this series. We've got a hand axe as well. How's the farming business going? It's a parsnip season, isn't it? I can imagine it being pretty peaceful, working outdoors with plants all day. Yes, it's very nice. It has its moments, of course. And you know what? Let's go over to Gunther. Let's just hand these tools over. Obviously, we're going to get rewards for doing it, so that's always important, I guess. Okay, I've got some spring onions. I, I totally forgot that Linus actually likes these, as, as, as well as Leah and Harvey. But obviously, we don't want to talk to them because they're not going to give us any gifts or recipes, should I say. But Linus, in future, is going to like spring onions. Pam dislikes them, so let's not even bother with that. <laughs> I can save daffodils and stuff on other people instead of wasting them on Linus because uh, he's, a, he's a spring onion man. Not many people around Pelican Town like a spring onion. Oh, and here we go. There's the cutscene. Let's skip this. We've seen this plenty of times. We're not interested. Let's donate to the museum. There we go. We've done two. And we've got 250 gold for that pretty awesome i mean we need all the money we can get it's a shame about the catfish but you know we need to harvest the parsnip well i would if they grown right before we head back to the farm let's just go down to the beach see what stuff we can find and then i'm going to go back to the farm and start chopping some trees down and uh, getting some more wood because so i want to build this over here i want to get to the other side of that beach to get the coral which is going to be quite good coral coral Oh, and there's actually a horse radish up here as well. I don't know if anyone likes them. We can try and find out. I mean, it's still a gift, I guess. And there's actually uh, two dandelions here as well. Okay, this is pretty good. We've got some more gifts for people, guys. This is important. This is what it's all about. Being generous and sharing. Well, really, we just want the recipes. Let's get to the farm now. This is getting too late. I mean, I'll be able to spend a few hours getting some wood. I'll probably see you guys on the next day. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so it's day five of spring. The last day of the episode. Let's check the weather for tomorrow. And it's going to be a sunny day. We've got a little extra look to do. We've got some good luck in this series. I mean, if this was the community centre challenge that we did, we'd have no luck right now. And we've got some more mail from Joja. Oh, no. We don't want to join you. Go away. Okay, so the parsnips are done today, which is awesome. Okay, so we can complete that quest. Also, we can sell some stuff and get some money. We need to reach level 1 farming and craft a scarecrow and to build a coop. We've got 100 gold for the parsnips, which is good. Okay, so we actually need two parsnips saved. We're going to need them for the parsnip soup, so one for the parsnip soup and one for the farmer's lunch. So let's keep away two parsnips and maybe another one just in case the community centre and then I'll keep away two more for gifts because people like them. So I'll keep five away. Obviously, I'll put two away in a separate chest soon, which is going to be for the ingredients chest and then also I've got ten to sell right now, which is pretty good. I've got to try and stay as organised as possible with this challenge because like I said, can fail this if we miss something in the first year or a season for a guess. So let's sell 10 parts. I think that's going to give us some nice money. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've oh my god, guys. I'm in it. I just used the axe. I just used the axe instead of the watering can. Oh no. The pain. That means we've lost two green beans in total. One for the crow and one for our stupid errors. I can't believe it. Okay, so the crops are all watered. The crops that we need for spring, we do actually need two kale, which we can't plant until the second year. So uh, that's going to be a long wait. 
We need two potatoes, which we can get in this harvest as well. And we need one blue jazz, which is a flower. So we need to go and plant that, actually. We need to go and buy one from Pierre. Also, we need two green beans, which we've got growing. So if, if no more get taken out, we should be fine with that. And we need a cauliflower as well. And also, we need a rhubarb. We need a two garlic. Oh, there's so many spring crops. Okay, so people who like horseradish is basically just Linus again. Linus likes a horseradish and a spring onion. But neutral is going to be Demetrius and uh, Sandy and Emily and Ken. But you don't, you don't get much friendship points by that. So, also, she's only going to be good for Linus as well. And we've actually got some parsnips, and Pam loves parsnips, which is good. So, that's going to give us some friendship points with her. So, let's just keep one on us, and I'm going to give that to her today. Put away some of these tools that we're not going to need. And the other people who like uh, parsnips are people like Caroline, Demetrius. It's quite a lot of people actually like um, a parsnip. The only people who don't is Abigail, Haley, Vincent, Sam, and Jazz. And they're all people that we don't need to talk to. So, that's pretty good. Anyone else we need to talk to, they like a parsnip. So let's go and do this cutscene. I think we can do it now. Fifth of spring, if we go to the right over here. Let's try, let's try. I don't know if it, has it got to be a sunny day or a rainy day. I'm not too sure, man. Oh, and here we go. Thank God for that. I'm going to skip this. I've seen this so many times, especially for the challenge series that we just did before this. So we need to investigate the community center, and then obviously we'll get to speak to the wizard the next day. Okay, so that's investigated. That's over and done with. I'm glad. Let's uh, speak to the wizard tomorrow. Let's go back up to Linus. I'm going to give him this horseradish. He's the only person who likes it. And I can save my spring onions for food. So whilst I'm here, let's go and do that. And who can I give this parsnip? I'm, I'm going to give this parsnip to Pam. Because she loves it. Whereas everyone else likes it. So it's going to give us more friendship points. Hello, Linus. Here we go, my friend. This is a great gift. Thank you. Please don't destroy my tent. Why would I ever do such a thing? It's happened before. I'm not like the rest of them, Linus. I swear. I promise. I'm not like the rest of them. We can go speak to Pierre as well, because Pierre likes dandelions. Linus does as well. Linus likes everything. Linus is not a fussy person, which I like. Come on then, Pierre. Let me give you your second gift of the week, and that's going to be a nice dandelion. It's very kind of you. I like this. Okay, so Pierre and Linus has had their two gifts for the week now. It's going to reset on Sunday, is it? Everyone else, we can give gifts plenty. Where's Pam going to be? She's not going to be at the bus stop, because obviously it's not repaired, so... Oh, of course. <laughs> The pub, that's where she's going to be. Let's give Evelyn her second gift as well. So she's had two for the week now as well. She neutrally likes them. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. I agree, I agree. A bit like me. <laughs> I should get out more. Oh, it was meant to go into the Star Drop Saloon, right? Of course, because Pam's going to be in there. Pam has surprised me. Pam is not here. I actually don't know where Pam goes. I mean, does she still go to the bus stop, guys? I mean, if all else fails, she's definitely going to be attending the pub tonight. Getting that goodness inside her body. You see, she's not there. I actually don't have a clue where she goes. I didn't know Pam had a social life. I didn't know she had a, a life at all, to be honest. I'll just wait around and she's going to come to the pub soon, surely. Oh, just found some bread in the trash can so that that's another cooking recipe or meal that we found inside the bin but obviously it's not going to work maybe a few people like bread we could always use it as gifts totally forgot about that as well as that crispy bass that we've got at home as well we could use them for gifts if people love them oh and jody actually loves a crispy bass it's one of her favorites so we could give that to her, you know. There's Sebastian. Everyone's going. It's Friday night, of course. Ever There's Pam. Where did you come from? Well, anyway, Pam, I've got something for you. Each day is just the same as the last. If only I'd been born rich. Well, spending all your money on beer is not going to help, lass. There we go. There's the love art. Hey, hey. Now, this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You are darn welcome. Hey, what's up, farmer guy? I'm not just a farmer guy. I'm now a chef. Respect me. Oh, it's getting wild. Oh, I beat you to it. Uh -huh. It's getting wild in here. Of course, Pam's the first one here. In fact, no, these guys was uh, whacking up the pool, you know? Wow, I just realised it's Friday. You stupid. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I do as well. Should I let Sam win for once? Should I let Sam win for once? Look at him, big head. If I give the cue ball a bit of a topspin, maybe I could. Oh yeah, alright. You guys go. Well, there's Robin. He's got no gifts for anyone. No one likes spring onions except for Linus. Okay, guys, well, it was good uh, talking to you. I'd buy you all a drink if I had the money, but unfortunately, I haven't. Hello, Willie. Oh, God, this, this is going crazy. Friday night is so popular around here. Let's get home. This is too much for me to handle. Okay, so back at the farm. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to go and purchase more seeds on a Saturday. We've got a little bit of uh, money. We're going to sell the parsnips soon as well, so 
Okay, I'm just going to spend the rest of the night just chopping trees down again. Wood's going to be important for a little while. I've got the crispy bass on us because tomorrow I'm going to give it to Jodie because she loves it. I mean, there's, there's no point in me eating it. I don't really need energy and stamina as much. So I may as well give it to her. It's going to make her happy and I'm going to get in a good book so maybe I'll get a number and then I could hug her and kiss her and then I could sleep with her. Okay guys, so that is the end of the day and that is going to be the end of the episode. Unfortunately, I know you're sad just like me. But we've been recording for over an hour. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you're really enjoying this series and you're excited to see more, please hit that like button. Keep showing me the support so I can keep posting these episodes out. I need to know that you guys like them. Otherwise, I just don't want to do them if you guys don't like them. There's no point. I know it's going to be very slow and tedious at the, at the beginning because we need to get ourselves into a rhythm. Once we start kicking these episodes off and this series is just going to fly and we're going to get into the rhythm of it. If you're new around here and you're enjoying my videos or maybe this series, make sure to subscribe to see more and hit that notification bell to never miss an upload because I know what YouTube likes sometimes and you guys don't even know I upload but I'm gonna wrap that one up right there thank you all for watching it's been a blessing and I'll see you on the next one stay safe stay awesome and peace let's just see what money we got first away of course level one farming we can get a scarecrow in the next episode and we got a cheeky 350 gold don't mind if I do see you later